Okay, so today I'm demonstrating the Race Owl app on Android. We'll start the app up. It'll ask you, do you want to track or are you part of the ground crew? Uh, if you say yes, then it's going to let you uh, track your position, recording your data to Race Owl for display on, uh, on the web. If you say no, it's just kind of a safety feature to prevent uh, you know, your ground crew from accidentally getting tracked. We're going to say yes because we're going to demonstrate tracking today. Okay, uh, now I need to update my, my information to the app. Uh, first thing you'll notice is up here at the very top, you've got the, um, um, your boat number. You want to basically enter whatever boat number you have. This has to be registered. You can't just pick anything you want. Uh, you'll, you'll get it from when you register with your race. Uh, they'll give you a boat number, and that's what you want to put in there. Uh, I'll enter 9999 for my boat number. Next, you want to select the race. Um, on the Android, you simply touch this um, uh, bar here, and it will show you the races that are currently running in Race Owl. Um, if for some reason or other that doesn't pop up, you want to do a up here to settings, press that, and then do update races, and that will go out query Race Owl and then update the list of, of current races. So I'm going to pick a race that I already have registered. I'm going to pick this uh, 135 race down here. Okay. You'll see the little pop up at the bottom saying checkpoint updated. So it's downloaded from Race Owl the various different checkpoints for that race. Uh, this particular race does not have a text in number, so it says null. Uh, so you won't be able to text in a checkpoint for this one. This will be purely a, a by net, not by text. Uh, the spot tracker uh, GLID. We're not going to use that today since we're doing just the, the Android tracking. And then the race authorization code here, um, that's only for, um, for race officials to be able to, to get the official uh, time for when the race is done. So they're at the last checkpoint checking people in. Um, various different screens on Race Owl app. You've got the first screen, which is information as you, as you swipe left. And the next screen is going to be your, your tracking screen for keeping track of your, kind of your speed, your data, and then sending uh, updates to the web. And the last screen over here to swipe one more time is the checkpoint screen. And here, if your race uses it, you can select the various different checkpoints that you have. And here you would uh, enter in the various different messages as far as here, are you getting into the checkpoint? All you have to do is press in. That gives you the current, uh, your, your number of boats, your mile or checkpoint, the time in. And it, you would press send net. This race isn't currently going, so it doesn't really work right now. And then you would do out for when you leave the checkpoint, send that, and it will try it as well. It will send to, to the uh, race aisle. Now, if you don't have a signal, that's okay. Um, you'll want to get one soon, but if you're, you, it'll just queue up. And that's what this little zero up is at the upper right of the screen. That's showing the number of items that are in your queue waiting to be sent to race aisle. Uh, as soon as you get to a place where you have a network, it will download that queue, upload it to race aisle, and you're good to go. Uh, but if you start seeing a really big number here, that means you really don't have any network uh, capability. Um, and you should find one soon. Anyway, uh, that's, that's the check-in, uh, check-out system for uh, the checkpoints. This is our uh, tracking screen. Uh, displays a lot of good information as far as GPS data. Uh, max speed, average speed, speed, uh, the current speed. Your time elapsed from the race and the total miles you've done. You can, uh, you can reset those by doing the settings and then reset statistics. That'll clear the speeds and then reset time and miles for the current time and current miles. Now then to track yourself, all you have to do is go down here and you'll see the track me button. Press that and it will automatically start sending updates every five minutes to Race Owl. Um, it'll, go, it'll go out the network and it will uh, um, go to the, the website Race Owl where your, your data will be displayed real time. Uh, for everyone to see. Yeah, every five minutes it's going to send that uh, automatically. Uh, at this point I usually say to people just turn your screen off um, and what that will do is that simply uh, uh, puts it in the background, it's still running, it's still tracking, it's just now you're saving saving battery and you don't have to worry about uh, draining your battery too much. If for some reason you want to send a lot of updates you can just press the button several times for track me That'll queue up a lot of different positions if you need something that's more than every five minutes. That's kind of a manual thing, so uh, not, not very many uh, uh, reasons to do that. When you're done with your race, all you do is press stop, and it will stop sending updates, and you're done. You can exit and uh, go on about your day. Uh, then you can go to Race Owl, check out the, uh, what, what you were at, 
I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go to the net. I think I have one out here for Ray Sal. There's Ray Sal. I'll let that load up here. Then I was in this, uh, this, this is the website. I'm going to pick this 135 right here. And then it's showing on the actual map. If you want to see yourself, you can do full screen. And that shows you the map of where people are currently at. And I have to zoom out because I'm in St. Louis. And there I am up here. There's my little boat in Chesterfield, Missouri. And if I want to see my breadcrumbs, which is kind of the tracing of where I was at during the day, then you simply go into the list here, uh, which is uh, current top 10 racers, do view all. And it will take you to a list of uh, the various different boats. There you see my 9999 boat. I'll press that. And then right here it says show breadcrumbs. That's going to display all the breadcrumbs that my 9999 boat has, uh, has made. So you can see here the various different uh, uh, places I've been around St. Louis in the last few days. Okay, so that's uh, kind of a, a good demo in a nutshell. Hope you enjoy.